what's going on guys welcome back to another video we are here at fiesta island for a little uh, little truck get together uh this is a i believe it is by duramax underscore diesel he put on uh this event over here and yeah we got the whole crew here i believe this is his truck right here you guys know this is the uh the alkylator mobile and you go this guy right here this is the guy with the truck i know he's clearly making up for something as you guys know you guys already follow his channel but you know when he got that big of a tires well you know why you know he'll he'll explain to you why over there but everyone wants to know why your tire is so big man he's gonna slap you from here with it <laughs> is it I'm struggling Okay. <laughs> See, I look mean, it up. Look it. it. Tracks everybody. It does. Well, it does. Guys. It yeah. Stop, you know, I saw it. Oh, okay, okay. That's okay. Eddie, can you hear me on that microphone? I don't know. You like that? Look at that. Yeah, hey, it works good, man. It looks just like it, you. It works a lot better than uh, like than just regular. So you guys, you know this guy, but we're, we're not gonna worry about that guy over there. Yeah, right. He's, he's not important. Don't worry about this guy. Oh my good. Do you guys remember this guy? Shh. How you doing, buddy? Where's your truck? Oh, before we go look at his truck, look at this. Somebody got some new wheels. Look at those things. Woo! Look at Big West. Big West is coming up, man. Big Big West. I mean, those are looking good, man. Hey, thank you. I like those. I like those. Uh, so you went bigger? Yes. Yeah, so or same size on the rim? Wheels the same size. It's a 24 by 14. Specialty okay. Specialty forged SF015. Uh, you can get them yeah. with machined accents. I got the, uh, if you look, it's like a gray, kind of a gray uh, with some flake in there. Oh, nice. Yeah, I didn't even notice that when I walked up to it. Yeah, it's got a little bit of gray in there. Damn, um, oh, that's nice. Yeah, put the spikes on it. Nice. Got the Nitto, Nitto 375. <laughs> Nitto's expensive. Just a little bit. <laughs> we don't talk pricing on this channel. We just talk about work. If you want them, guys, go work. Go order them, and you'll figure out how much they are yourself. <laughs> Got the Nitto uh, Trail Grappler MT uh, 375. I noticed you're the only one that runs Nittos. Well, I just got these, so. No, but didn't you have Nittos uh, well, before? I had, I had Furies on it. Oh, I had okay. The Fury MTs. Uh, okay. Yeah, so these are the Nittos, and you like them? Nitto and Fuel or Nitto and Toyo are like the same uh, brand. Like the parent company is the same. Okay. So have you ran the Toyo the MTs? No, I have not. You have I've okay. Heard nothing but good things about them. If they had made something with this kind of width to it, I would have been more interested in the Toyo. But okay. They only really make uh, a 37, 13 and a half, and I think they make some the 40s, but I, I can't fit 40s. Oh, uh, and these are the 375, 40? 75, 40, 24, so 24, it's about okay. a 36 inch tire, and that's almost 15 inches wide. So you get wow. a nice flush look on a 14 wide. And you tire. guys can see the stance on this thing. It clearly has some stance to it. I mean, that's. Damn. Yeah, so that's, with, that's running, crazy. with running the Cognito lift, Ooh. the uh, the track width has increased quite a bit, about two inches okay. on each side. So. Oh yeah, you changed some of the suspension or yeah, lift so on it? It's got a Cognito 10 to 12 inch with the uh, Fox uh, coilovers in the front. Nice. In the rear, it's got uh, the Deaver leaf springs. Nice, nice. <clears throat> well, you guys see, and we're gonna have more of these shows now that it's, well, I mean, supposedly almost summer. I don't know why, it's always cloudy over here, but. Uh, today we had, I believe, like 15 uh, trucks show up. Not, not, nothing too big, nothing too crazy. It's a nice one too, right here. Oh, this is like the similar, similar setup. Uh, oh yeah, similar setup as West. These are what? Nice. What size uh, rim and tire setup is this? Uh, the 2414 Archon Alexander with the Fury 35, 15 and a half. Nice. Yeah, these, these both look good. I gotta say. Uh, you guys, upgrades everywhere. You, you know? guys got similar taste. Yeah, these look very fresh, like just came off the showroom floor. Yeah, no, both of us mounted up on Friday and Thursday. So oh, no. Oh, that's when I saw you guys, or saw you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The day before, then we got his done the next day. Nice. This thing looks good, man. I like that cognitive. You like the king? Oh, yeah. I know everybody runs Fox. Everybody says, oh, Fox, Fox, Fox. I mean, what's, uh, you notice any difference between like king and Fox? Any comparison? We each first time running them, so I mean. Yeah, because you got the Fox. Yeah, I have the Fox. He got so the this game. is his setup right here, guys. And I know the, the questions you guys are always asking me, well, what's better, Fox or King? Well, I personally don't know if you're going to, I mean, I don't know. Do you notice a difference? Have you driven his truck? We have driven each other's trucks. They ride for what they are. I mean, it's not a fucking. Pretty damn similar. Racing truck. Yeah. But I, I do know in the off-road industry, if you're truly, like, 
competitive off-road, probably 90% of the dudes run King. So King I'm going to say that they're probably... Like, For off-road, yeah. Well, I know all like the buggies, sand cars, all that they stuff, they're all running King. King. Right, so then that's if you're going to build something purpose-built like that, go ahead and, you know, King's probably the way to go. It's a good I looking mean, shot. It is, it is a really smooth ride though. I will give it yeah. that. Yeah. And what, what kind of tires are these? The Furies? Yeah, the Furies. These are the ones that you had? Yeah, I had the okay. same ones. The... Why'd you pick these instead of like Toyo or Nitto? Uh, I, I just like the, the flush. How, how, okay, that's what he was saying. Yeah. yeah. So I, if you guys, you're saying if you guys get a Toyo, it's going to be what sucked in? Well, they just don't make the same sizes. Yeah. So Fury came out into this industry of you know the big wide wheel, providing a tire for that. Whereas okay. Toyo Nitto, it's such a small market to have for big wide wheels. That yeah. They're not going to cater to us as much as this company that came out. That's all they cater to. And that and stance. So they come out with you know a 15 and a half inch tire on, as for a 35. Whereas Toyo or Nitto, they might have like a, they have a 37, 13 and a half. They don't make a 35, yeah. you know, 15 and a half or anything like that. So okay. they're, they're very limited size. Yeah, I think Ryan's got the widest Yeah, he has Toyo. the 40, 15 and a half. Yeah. Whereas you can get a 15 and a half out of a 35 from, from Yeah, the okay. I had the fuel uh, 35, 13 and a half on my old 24, 14s. And I still, I want a little more sidewall this time around. I didn't have okay. any sidewall. Then stretched out on 13. And you got you guys have the same amount of stance. Uh, you guys I have looking? a little more just because the cognito lift is taller and okay. it increases the track width a little more due to the spindle. Design. You guys see, I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna try to hurry before I get ran over. But you guys see the, the stance between Wes's truck and his truck right here? Yeah, it's a little bit. Man, I like who did the uh, lights for you? Uh, uh, Chris Cutson out of uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Oh wow! Did, okay. Uh, a complete headlight build. Nice. Yeah. Man, they look good. You sent them to him, or? Uh, no, he he just got everything himself, then uh, oh, color okay. matched it inside, then cleared them all out with uh, demon eyes and the halos. Nice. Looks good. Looks good. You guys remember this guy, Duramax Barbecue? He is the barbecue king right here. If this guy, if you want anything smoked, you go ask that. Hey, I, you know, I should have called you yesterday. I tried to smoke some chicken. For like four hours, and I pulled off the smoker, and it was still raw. Doing all wrong. I was like, I was like, I ate the chicken. I'm like, dude, this can't taste right. I think I'm getting salmonella over here. <laughs> this can't be good. You like 275. You don't have a personal I, chef. You don't have a. He quit. <laughs> I gotta, <laughs> yeah, I gotta hire a new one. <laughs> yeah, that, that was Mr. Oculator. You guys remember? They, they've been working too much. Nice. But yeah, I know if you guys like, I was saying in my last video, if you guys watched it. This guy, if you have any, because I get people asking me, oh, what do you like, smoke, or how do you do it? I was like, dude, I have no idea. I can't smoke anything. Yeah. yeah. Like Don't ask me. Just your cigars. Go, yeah, I just smoke my cigars. Go ask Duramax Barbecue. That's his Instagram also. Uh, this guy is like, there you go. Look at that. Bearded Dude Barbecue. Man, is that you in the back? No, that's my buddy that we do the competitions with. Oh, okay. All right. So this is his truck, guys, right here. Uh, this is... An L5P, it's the new one. He, I believe, just has a. What, hey, what is on this? The level, just a leveling kit? No, it's CST. Oh, it is CST. It's the same kit you have. Oh, okay. Yeah. What do you have it set to? Four. Four in the front. Yeah. Just putting toils on. Yeah, I saw that. Those, these are fresh. Look at these. These guys. Yeah. No, I, I'm gonna. The only problem why I just run the RTs is because on the road, the RTs are so quiet. No, no, but. They, yeah, well, for now they are just, just yeah. Wait till you put some miles on them, and then we'll see how quiet they are. But he's got an L5P. Yes, hopefully one day we're gonna get rid of this hideous tank for him and uh, make this truck. <laughs> oh, okay, there you go. So if you guys want extra power, stick one of these on there, and you should be good to go. But um, he's running the uh, 35, 12, 50, 17 on here. What methods are these? The 301s? Uh, they're uh, NVHD. Okay. What's the, what is it, 20 by 9? No, they're 17 by 8.5. Or, I mean, yeah, I'm 16, everybody's got 20s. Nobody has 17s. I went old here. school. I wanted to be different. Yeah? No, it looks I good. I like Eddie's life. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't know. Nobody wants to be like <laughs> me. I mean, come on, dude. What, what is that guy doing? Can we help you? No, I just got to take a piss. Oh, okay. No, no problem. <laughs> He's got a thick and big enough sidewall for us to do it on. <laughs> if you pee on one of these, you know. <laughs> So yeah, it's what year is this? 17? 18. 18. 2018 L5P guys. Yeah, Look at this. We got uh, 34,000 miles on it. 
Thirty-four thousand miles. Dang. And halfway across. The well, yeah, you go to like Ma uh, Mammoth Missouri. like once a month in uh, Missouri. Uh, Missouri. And yeah. Got my workforce sticker. That was another twenty horsepower. Uh, yeah, I don't know about all that. I heard that started to slow people down. Now you know, <laughs> he's over there, guys. <laughs> got my license plate. Jeez, uh, would you guys wonder what kind of a truck this is? What kind of motor he's got? I think that's it right there. You can't uh, not miss this guy. I was gonna say for all of you uh, tree huggers, look at that. There you go. I'll get you a better look at it. There you go. Look, look how clean it is. It's crystal clean in there. Unlike you know some of the other trucks over there are just black and nasty. Like look at this guy. This guy is well, he's a gasser, but uh, his is still uh, pretty clean. He's got a good setup too. You guys know Chris's setup over here. I don't know where Chris is, but. Uh, he, I believe, is on 35, 12, 50, 20s. Yeah. Oh, no, he's on 18s. What, nobody's doing 20s anymore? 20s are just phasing out, huh? Okay. Well, he's on 35, 12, 50, 18s. He went with the uh, copper look. And he got everything matched, color matched over here. His looks good, too. Yeah, this thing looks nice, guys, right here. This is the high country. I, the reason I say it because I think I see it in the seat over there. It's the high country edition. It's a CST. It's probably an eight inch. If I guess, is this your truck? No. Oh. What? Do you know how tall this thing is? Honestly, I have no idea. No. Nope. Okay. Well, it looks like guys. It's probably an eight inch. Maybe I would say he's on. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say it's an eight, inch. eight inch. Yeah. Thirty-eight, thirteen. Thirty-eight like that. It's eight inch. Yeah. Thirty-eight, thirteen, fifty, eighteen. Lots of moto metals. What? I don't know what color. It's a crazy color though. It's a nice color. I don't know. This is a. Uh, I don't know, like a gunmetal color? I'm not sure what what color this is, but it's a nice gunmetal color. I think it's wrapped. Yeah, I think he's got it all wrapped. This thing looks good for sure right here. His exhaust is a little too clean to have some stuff missing, so uh, I'm guessing that's just a tip. If I had to a guess, yeah, and take a peek under there. But it's a, it's a good looking truck for sure. So it looks like he's got the four paws over there, then the new D2s with the six LED. That's the driving light. Then he's got his rigid 20 inch in here. It's a, you can tell it's a combo. There's a spot from there to there, and that's those two outsides are the combo lights. I'm not sure uh, what kind of lights these are. It's pretty cool right here. I think these are, if they stop flashing, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure. It looks like it's an off brand, but. These, looks, these look pretty good here. You got your uh, yellow and your white little strobes going on here. I like it. I like it. It's a big boy right here. Oh, look at that. He's got a solid axle swap on this thing. So you guys know GMs uh, don't have solid axles. They are an independent front suspension on it. Uh, Dodge and Ford only do the front axles. Oh, uh, that's not good. He's missing a uh, front drive shaft. Uh-oh. Accolator's got... Man, is this... What did you, did you put all your stuff back on? This thing's quiet. The back. Man. Oh, oh, the back. Oh, oh man, I can't, I can't hear. You know, guys, one thing I love about the Dodges is you know when a Dodge is missing some parts. On Fords, they're pretty damn quiet. Even the back. When you go to the front and the back, these things are very quiet. Compared, even when you come by, it's quiet. Compared to your older Ford, the older Ford is a lot louder at idle. Oh, that's not the back. The back, the both No, no, no. Front. No, no, from the back, the older Ford is quieter. We'll do a comparison for you guys, but I, I don't know. I even, um, like, uh, my cousin Michael's truck, his 2008 LML, if he comes to... Um, yeah, that's almost a 10-year difference. No, I understand that, but I'm saying these older ones are so much louder, like, especially with the older Cummins. Man, those things okay. scream. <laughs> yeah, those <laughs> things... Those things are badass. Calculator is leaving. If you guys want to know what happens behind the scenes of these channels, is everybody just sets up here and talks shit about everybody. So right now, the number one the thing they're doing is they're talking crap about Wes uh, wearing socks with his sandals. Duramax barbecue over here is not, so that's what they do. They just talk crap about each other. Why you gotta make fun of him? What's wrong with his socks and sandals? 
They're just, I, I mean, I don't know, guys. I, I wear socks and sandals. It doesn't bother me. I don't know. You guys comment down below. What do you think about West's socks and sandals? It's comfortable. <laughs> I agree. Hey, listen, I, I do the same thing. I can't blame you. That was poor planning. I, I don't blame you. What does it say? The only stance I can get is on my socks. <laughs> And why he says that, guys, because his truck is in the shop broken still. So, I think when you fix a truck, and when you're, you know, when they're, you know, like BMW, they give you like a water or something, yeah. where he took his, they gave him socks. <laughs> Let him know, hey, you know, stance. There you go. It's good. What? What's this guy doing? He lost? Gosh, this is my favorite truck right here, guys. This thing just sounds beautiful. Thing sounds good. Dude, I wanted to see this the first yeah. uh, I, Well, he came uh, to the Napa event, and that's the first time I saw this shark. I did a video on this thing. Yeah, I remember that. I watched it. Dude. Uh, no, the Mac Cornell is like big on Instagram, or he was. So yeah, I guess this is his dude, truck. This thing's fucking, dude, it's all shade. It's okay. what, what's going on over here? What's this guy doing, Chris? What's he doing over here? Let's see what this thing can do. Take it over here. Is this a diesel? Is this thing a like diesel? That. Crash it twice! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I don't think we should be posting this. <laughs> Not our rental. All right, true. Where are you going? He wants to off-road. Yo, be wait, 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 there's a big ditch. There's a big, there's a ditch. Oh! <laughs> How many? Land Rover. How many Micheladas did you have? <laughs> Not even taking it sideways or nothing. I'm not going over that dude. No, come hey, on. Do it in reverse. Dude, these things are supposed to go duning. I'm not going over that dude right now. Right there in the hard stuff. Just hit it a little bit. Fort mode. <laughs> <laughs> All wheel drive drift. <laughs> I don't know. I think we should buy one of those. Dude, it's kind of cool. <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. We're back from the uh, little truck show we had going on over there. Hopefully we'll have another one very soon. Uh, we were talking about some dates, uh, maybe next weekend, I'm not sure. Uh, but hopefully very soon, but we are back. Old Dirty Max is back in the garage. And you guys always ask me, why is the hood always open? Well, when I drive this thing uh, and I'm done driving it, I like to open the hood. You know, I just like to do a quick little inspection. Uh, not saying, you know, there's nothing wrong or anything, but I like to just, I like to look everything over. It makes me feel better, it makes me sleep at night. No, uh, there's nothing wrong with it. And for you guys at the show that kept asking me, Eddie, what are you gonna do with this whole Dodge thing you wanna do, this Cummins, uh, uh, you know, stuff you keep thinking about? Well, everybody said, you know, do a Cummins swap in this thing. Uh, I have been talking to some people about doing a Cummins swap or just going to buy a Dodge. Um, I don't know yet, but what I really wanna do, even if you could come and swap this thing, I wanna see, because all these new trucks now are coming with these 10 speeds. The GM is a 10 speed and the new Ford is a 10 speed. Rumors are saying that the 2020 uh, Dodge or Ram, whatever you want to call it, is supposed to be a 10 speed also. So I'm going to wait and see uh, what happens with that before we do anything else in the truck. But um, like I said, guys, there's nothing wrong. This thing pulls great. It just, if you guys have ever gotten a, in a, and, and for some reason this is, is mainly with the deleted Cummins. So I've gotten a Cummins that, or I've gotten in a Cummins and towed a heavy load, um, you know, up to some grades. And I don't know why, but when they're not deleted, these new ones, they kind of have no balls. They're just dead. But then when you delete these Cummins up, they're crazy. They, like, open up a whole new world of power. So I'll get into all that stuff later. But uh, I don't know what we're going to do with truck situation right now. But uh, we had a good time today. Everybody showed up. Thank you. It's very, very fun. And hopefully we have another one soon. But we're going to end the vlog. It's getting late. I'm getting tired now. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.